welcome back to keep on collecting hope you're all well out there in youtube land uh thank you again for joining us in another episode something has turned up in the mail so i just thought i'd do a bit of a video to show you and share with you what it is uh, many of you know that uh, mattel do send us some masters of the universe figures to review so they've sent a bundle through and although i've shown them on a live stream i will just show uh, a couple show them again just really quickly and uh, there's a couple of interesting ones in there so I just wanted to share that with you because well I've never seen it and I thought it might be a bit of a limited edition figure to be honest and also of course you know this community uh, the toy community is amazing and um, there, there's a there's a, a gentleman over in Texas in the US that uh, I've forged a bit of a friendship with and uh his name's rob um go and check him out on instagram rob's retro or robs.retro i will put the link in the description i will probably put a link like a picture up around me somewhere on screen but yeah rob um I've, i met him probably about 18 months ago on a live stream with shabby and a bunch of other motu fans talking uh, masters of the universe and figures and loves and hates and passions <laughs> and he was there and um, since then we've had a, a little bit of communication rob loves like mass universe and he loves gi joe and star wars like you know go and check out his instagram and you'll see a lot of star wars in there like it'll be a figure and then you know back in front of the figure and then like uh page from the whole yeah the the red red five design star wars book so yeah it's really it's really cool little channel yeah go and check it out if you've got some time all right and um now with rob it's just been he's been really helpful like mattel have made it a little bit hard with mass universe the origins line and even beyond that with with the cartoon collection it's quite hard to obtain at retail recently we have found a few of the cartoon collection and the origins came sporadically, like, you know, you'd get one wave and then you wouldn't get any for three waves. And so it's very hard to get into. So we, I have started to rely a lot on my friends overseas um, to help us out. So at the end of last year, Mattel decided that they, you know, with the origins figures, the more, you know, like the, the, like the retro line, they would decide to put everything onto Mattel Creations. And Mattel Creations has seems to have a few issues with, with Australian residents. And to help me out, Rob has kindly said, or I think it is him and Scuba Pete have both said that they're they're willing to buy Andrew and I the figures to, to help us out. So we pay them for the cost of the figure and the postage. However, recently, so Rob where there was i know one of them is going to be cyclone so cyclone was a mattel creations figure and yeah so rob's rob is helping us out with that so i know he has sent cyclone through but he said he wanted to throw something else in i don't know what so i'm not sure if it's like going to be some us treats um so I, yeah that'd be so i just thought i'd open up and share it with people all right let's start off with the mattel box and a few of these figures you've probably seen at retail so I'll whiz through them. So we've seen um, in Australia, we've seen the Skeletor. So these are just basically based on that filmation cartoon from the 80s. So very, very cool. I, I really like it. And they're based on, so maybe like an episode of the Filmations cartoon. So for example, this is like the Masks of Power episode. It doesn't say that, but I think I know that. Uh, do, 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 includes comic. I recognize the episode with these with these masks and so Skelter we've seen him at retail um, next one is He-Man so Skeletor came in wave two they released two figures I think they all call them wave one they kind of released them at different periods so they released He-Man in the first wave and there's He-Man so he never hit stores in Australia so it was really cool to see him now I have bought him from the big bad toy store so I'll be giving this one to, to Andrew to hang out with and open. There you go, 80. So based on the He-Man card, I guess that looks like him. Yeah. So they come with a comic as well. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, this is as as seen in the masks of power. So it's the same episode as the skeletal one. So it says as seen in masks of power. Uh, the next one, so they sent three card in collection. The last one is Beast Man. So Beast Man came out with He Man, and then they released Skeletor and um, Man at Arms, and then they released Trap Jaw and Teela. So there's Beast Man. Now Beast Man is from as seen in the Dragon Invasion. As always, cool art. Always cool art. So he comes with uh, this hover ray. There you go there. So there's the three um, cartoon collection. And then Mattel also, they keep sending us Turtles of Grayskull. So now we've got Raphael. How about that? That is sweet. We've already got um, Donatello sent to us. And we also got Krang sent to us as well. So Andrew's collecting this line. So I'll give this one to Andrew as well, Raphael. So they're the other ones in this series. You can see. It's a very cool, very cool crossover. And I think there's some, yeah, once again, just like really cool little art. They've thought of a story, Mattel, around the crossover. We haven't seen those at retail, which is a real, real shame, I think. Turtles and Masters of the Universe, two iconic toy lines from the 80s joining together. Mattel, Mattel, you should have pushed it. You know, the kids in Australia, I reckon they would have gone for it. But there's nothing to be found on shelves, sadly. So, alrighty. So the next one we've got from the uh, the Netflix show Revolution. So this is the second season of the Mars Universe on Netflix. We've got King Keldor. So as seen in yeah the Revolution. So the first one is called Revelation, and the second season's Revolution. So then there's the other toys in the line there. Uh, you get a spare. You get a couple of heads. Uh, King Keldor. I don't, these are the, I think they're eight inches, they've got 30, 30 points of articulation. But yeah, I, I, I haven't been collecting the Masterverse either. So, so the last one is something a little bit special that I haven't seen. I have seen it with people, like have, they've been getting this figure. So this is the New Eternia figure for Snout Spout. Look at that. So I don't know, this must be a Mattel Creations. Let's, you can see that down there. And there's the new Eternia. But the artwork is amazing, as usual. This now it's about. So, but we open this up and this is where it gets very interesting. We have signatures. There's one, two, three, four, six, seven signatures of the toy designers of this action figure. But that's got to be limited edition, right? Like I've, yeah. Uh, Mattel has sent a, sent a letter through, so I'll, but that's what they say. So you can pull this cover off, and it, uh, it's got a backdrop there, which is pretty amazing. And there's that about. Look at that, fantastic. With all the signatures, I love the backdrop because look at that. It looks like um, Jason and the Argonauts when they meet Talos. In the valley, what was it? The Valley of. I can't remember what that was called. But it looks like that, doesn't it? With all the statues and the columns and the mountains. Amazing stuff. Anyway, so in that snout spout comes a little. Comes a little box. I think that's where all these goodies are. So I'll put that back together. Mm, it's a snout spout. I will investigate and put up there whether this is on Mattel Creations or coming up. I'll let you know. All right, part two of the video is this box from Rob. I've got, well, I know one thing that's in there, um, but he said he was going to send a surprise as well, uh, which he didn't have to do. This is just what we do for each other um, in our community because we just, we're all very like minded people. We all like to help each other out because. You know, we're, we're just all, all mates, all doing the same thing. And um, so yeah, everyone just wants to see everyone else succeed and you know, help. If they can help each other out, they will help. So, you know, Rob's helping me out and hopefully someday in the future I can help Rob out with something as well. Because believe it or not, sometimes in Australia we may get the odd figure that 
they don't get in America. I don't know when that's happened, but apparently it does happen. All right, let's check this out. So we've got the bubble wrap. Put that down there, and I've got a couple of boxes here. Ah, this doesn't give a clue on what that is. So there's one box. I've got two box. Okay. Okay. So cool. Oh, I have to say there's no food. It's kind of good because <laughs> there's no food. That means I don't get it fatter. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's what. So I think they're both exactly the same boxes. So I guess they're both one cyclone and I guess it's going to be something else near that. All right. Let's open this up. All right. Let's check this out. Oh. Oh my god, Rob. Oh my god, my friend. It's just I can't believe you've done this for me. How do you how do you even know? Did I say something? You did. I'll unbox this. I've got a I am gonna I've gotta check this out. Oh. Look at this. It's Mossman. We can't get Mossman in Australia. Uh he's an exclusive to Walmart in America. I must have mentioned to Rob that I don't have this figure and he has obviously gone off and um and got this and mate I'm I'm super appreciative of this 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 is amazing look at it it's a, just a massive throwback to the 80s version like it's actually got the flocking on there I don't know if he smells like mint oh, that's why I'm gonna have to open him up because they had um the first one was he smelled like mint was it mint? pine <laughs> he smelled like pine. <laughs> um, he smelled like pine. So this will be interesting. It doesn't say that he smells. Oh, he does. He smells like pine. Oh my god. How sweet is this? So he's getting open. We'll quickly. Um, oh, that's amazing. <sighs> See, I'm smiling ear to ear. It's just that's incredible. Um, because it's funny because I think I asked Scuba to get one for Andrew, my mate, and um. So he, he did that, and Andrew's like, oh, you can have him. I'm like, no, no, I'll get one one day, and, you know, well, good things come to those who wait. I, thank you very much. So gracious. It's just amazing. And here, here he is. He's the other fella, Cyclone. Another Mattel. This is a Mattel Creations. So they're calling him, I think, an exclusive. So, um, okay, so it'll be interesting to see what he's like. New for 2024. There he is, Cyclone. Look how cool that is. And that's the artwork on the back. It looks a little bit like the Fright Zone. That's the puppet that comes out of the Fright Zone, isn't it? And it's the tree and his horde. There he is. Oh, look, there's Moss Mossman. <laughs> look at that. They're going to be hanging out together. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, thanks Rob for getting these this for me. That's so I arranged with Rob for him to send this one over. So I knew I was getting Cyclone, but he's blown my mind with Moss Man. I really I really wanted Moss Man. Just, all right, let me open him up and we'll check him out. He does. <laughs> he smells like pine. <laughs> oh my god, it's so strong. There he is. Look at him. He's not out of packet yet, but he's getting there. <laughs> he's getting there. <laughs> you get the comic. How cool. Poison from the stars. Look at that. That's his comic. Another comic. I love mini comics. Believe it or not, I'll read them. Oh, look at them. That is sad. Look at that. That is very, very much like the original armor as well. Oh, man. And that's like, a, like his original weapon. He comes with a spare head. Rest the figures, in the original, he was, um, original figures, he was just like, he was a reuse of Beastman, really. So that's, so that's very similar to the Lords of Power uh, Beastman head. I think that's a bit blurry because of my fingers. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> there he is. Ah. Oh. And congratulations on all your success. You smell terrific. Look at him. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, I mean, God, is he my is he my new favorite? He could be. I mean, I love Merman, but this dude, 
just do that scent alone and that massive nostalgia hit to the old 80s version. Yeah. I can't stop smelling, dude. Man, he smells good. All right. Let, my, let me pull myself together here and I'll, um, I'll get open uh, Cyclone as well and show him off. He's also got a comic called The Fog of War. There we go. I wonder if this has words in it. Oh, it's got words in it. Sweet. I wonder if Mossman's has words in it. Sweet. So the old the old eighties um, cyclone just came with a yellow shield similar to what he's got here, and I think he squeezed his arms and he his bottom half went around. So this time around he's got the lovely um, holographic symbol still. So that is excellent how they've just added that back into the figure. So this one here, if we pull his body out like that, and he's got a little um button or something on the back and so if we put his arms out give him a bit of room to be a cyclone let's check him out oh look at that nostalgic sweet sweet as i don't know how to to put these on so he comes with these cones i think like you pull out his hands and put them in let me just try one so they're all detachable, all these He-Man figures. And pop that in there. So there you go. You can like blast people. Love it. Love it. Okay, so then there's this this ring. I don't know how that goes. There's something to hold it in on the back there, so. Just looking at him on the back here. So he's got that ring around his waist and then there's a big ball of big, a uh, lot of air coming out of his waist. So let's check, see if we can do that. I think that just holds it. So you could probably just, yeah, I think you could just hold it in the back there. Um, we'll put in the, maybe the bottom one. Uh, like it can kind of, go you can bring it back and it can go straight like that or you can, can bring it down and it can go in like that anyway i'm not really sure i mean he's just going to be mostly displayed isn't he so there you go we have cyclone and we have the best smelling masters figure ever moss man all right well that's it um, as I said, blown away. I can't believe Rob has, is, um, I can't believe Rob has stunned me not under silence because I'm still talking, but, um, oh, that's, that's just incredible. I, I love it. Uh, I love, I love what people do for you just out of the kindness of their own heart. Um, makes me feel good about being in this community people helping each other out and um it's not just me that people give gifts to you can see it across the community people are happy to send others gift boxes with items that they know that they will cherish and and love like uh well, like moss man here it's fantastic so yeah just go and check out rob on instagram at robs.retro so all those figures which one did you like was it the nice smelling moss man was it the the windy cyclone was it the sunout spout or was it one of the other figures that i've shown so just let, let me know in the comments what your favorite was well thank you very much for joining us that's uh, i hope that wasn't too long it was supposed to be a quick video but i got a little bit gushy over uh moss man there so mm -hmm. the conquest of everest will pale into insignificance mm -hmm. just blows my mind um, look after yourselves out there, um, be kind to yourselves and your families, get into your toy rooms, make sure that you play with these amazing toys that just fill you with happiness and joy. Remember, as Andrew and I always say, keep on collecting. We'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, bye.